Physical education teachers from Tulsa Public Schools are getting a PE class of their own. They're learning the basics of a new computer-based exercise program. I think it's going to be fantastic. I have very large classes. It's really hard to get everybody motivated to get involved with the classroom at the same time, and I think this is the perfect type of system to be able to do that. It's called Hop Sports. It zeroes in on issues like good nutrition, weight management, and tobacco use prevention. The program aims to introduce students to the skills essential to perform sports, martial arts, and dance. First step, we're going to learn some easy step of cross step. Just the feet go like this. Step, cross, step, cross. The president of the company is leading the teachers in the training of the program. I guarantee the kids, they just have so much fun out with that one. This would be another uh, dance. We're going to go right into this. TPS is the only school district in the state using this kind of technology in the PE class. The Hop Sports program will soon be used in every school in the district. TPS received a PEP grant, which is a federal grant, Physical Education for Progress grant. It's a three-year grant worth $1.5 million, and the primary purpose of the grant is to put the Hop Sports system, which you're seeing here, into all of the schools within TPS. So we began implementation of the grant last year, and we will continue the grant through the end of next year, and by then we'll have this system in all the schools in Tulsa Public Schools. The program comes equipped with a computer system with all of the needed elements, including a hard drive and projector. Different applications are projected onto a screen, or in this case, a concrete wall. And instructors lead the class in an activity. In this selected activity, each row of participants has its own way of doing hopscotch. And it's technology driven, which I mean, that's what students relate to now. That's what they know. I mean, my, you know, you can, they can take your phone and program it to do anything. This is something they can relate to. The music is awesome. It gets them pumped. It gets them excited. And that's what we're trying to do is to get kids excited about being physically active and to, you know, make healthier kids. And that's important because a growing number of children are becoming obese and unhealthy. Trish Pruitt is the Health, Physical Education and Dance Coordinator for Tulsa Public Schools. The students aren't as active as they used to be. We have a problem with obesity. We have a problem with uh, juvenile diabetes. We have a problem with just the basic knowledge of health. And, and, you know, when I was young, you came home from school, you went outside to play, you didn't come in until it was dark. Times have changed. They're not like that anymore. And Linda Lemley agrees. She's been a PE teacher for more than 30 years and says the kids are a lot different today than when she first started teaching in the 70s. So those kids were a little bit more motivated. I saw that they had direction and goals and they also had a better attitude about um, food. I think food has changed. A lot of the changes that have happened is because of the portion sizes and food sizes and fast foods and things like that. Some kids are, they really don't, it's like they don't want to be there, but then again they want to, but uh, the exercise is sometimes it's lethargic from when I first started, just everybody wanted to be there. Now it's just there because they have to be there. Ronald Smith has also seen a lot of changes in his PE classes over the last two decades. He says at the beginning of his career, even if students were overweight, they were still motivated in class. School officials are hoping the new fitness regimen will help kids make lifestyle changes that will, in effect, help them to become more motivated at school and in life. In Tulsa, I'm Angela Rosecrans, The Oklahoma News Report.